Uh, speaking of President Trump, uh, he says that the White House is also working right now on police reform. We're working to finalize an executive order that will encourage police departments nationwide to meet the most current professional standards for the use of force, including tactics for de-escalation. All right, so many are asking, how will this help the black community in America? Here to get to read, uh, Deputy Assistant to President Trump, Jerron Smith. Uh, Jerron, thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of speculation as to what might be included in this. Also, there's a, you know, a fair amount of pre-criticism, which is typical for a Trump, uh, any kind of thing from President Trump, saying it won't go far enough or, that it's, or, or, or anything else. Can you give us some thoughts of what might be included in this, in this executive order? Well, I can tell you this, uh, instead of defunding the police, the president's focusing on partnering the with the police to create better police and community relationships. That's at the heart of um, the issue. Um, we have to have a better relationship with the police, um, and the police want to have a better relationship with the communities. Um, but we're going to make sure that um, police have the highest standards on use of force. We also are going to uh, uh, work with these police departments to uh, give them the partnerships they need through uh, partnerships with uh, uh, social services um, that would deal with mental health, uh, addiction, um, and things like homelessness. Um, those are ways to de-escalate a situation, um, but it's all going to start with that partnership. And uh, we think we have the, the right partnerships on both sides, and uh, the president is going to use his executive order, uh, this executive order to bring those both sides together. Jerron, you also have uh, other responsibilities there, including innovation, the Office of Innovation. I read this morning China is spending $1.5 trillion to leapfrog over America. I think a lot of countries are looking at us right now in this internal turmoil, and they think this is their moment to strike. Anything from the White House about, you know, making sure that we stay number one in all the key areas in the world? Thanks for asking that, Charles. Yesterday, the president also outlined a vision, a vision for the most underserved communities throughout America. Since day one, the president has focused on forgotten communities because he always thought that in order for America to be competitive in the 21st century, we must got get our best and brightest, not just from Harvard or our normal places, but from inner city Detroit, from the Mississippi Delta, to those areas that haven't been reached um, in years and decades. And so we're creating infrastructure for opportunity that's going to let all Americans be a part of the American dream, rather it's school choice, access to capital, or just um, um, allowing them to be a part of the new health care infrastructure. We're going to create that infrastructure with local right. partners for everyone. Jerron, uh, great news. We appreciate it. Uh, come back anytime. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks so much, Charles.